Today, I'm sharing how I potty trained my toddler at just 13 months old. I'll share with you five amazing steps to make it happen with your child. The first step in our potty training journey was to just pay attention. Take a look at the cues that your child is putting out there. Are they making a silly face when they need to go potty? Maybe they're making a grunting face. Start to pay attention to those cues and start to document them in your mind. This will help you to start to understand the cues. But not only that, they're going to become your secret weapon when it comes to potty training. The next thing you need to do is really help familiarize them with the bathroom setting. What this means is just have them sit on the potty, diaper on or diaper off in the bathroom. Explain to them that this is the potty. These are the wipes. This is the toilet paper. And this is what the flushing sound is. This is the running water. Really describe the setting of the bathroom. Part of my daily routine was to do this every morning when we woke up and every evening before she went to bed. Start to build this into the daily routine and they're going to get really familiar with the bathroom setting. Give it a try. The next step is demonstrating potty time. This one is actually really silly because you're either gonna have to do a little bit of acting or actually do it for real. Either way, if you're a great actor or if you just wanna show them how it's done, it's important to actually demonstrate the process of going to the potty and then flushing, showing them the toilet paper and how that functions. I know it sounds funny and silly and kind of weird, but trust me, it goes a really long way. At the end of the day, when it comes to toddlers, actions speak louder than words. The next crucial step is to do something called elimination communication. I did not coin the term. Elimination communication is simply making sound effects that are associated with the act of going to the bathroom. For example, making grunting noises like mm, mm, mm. or <laughs> this is going to be great or just making the sound psh, just to help them understand what it is they're doing sitting on that weird chair that they're sitting on. I know it's silly, but the more you do it, the more they'll start to associate going and sitting down on the potty with doing their business. It's actually really helpful to have them start to communicate to you their needs. As you know, a young toddler at that age, they might have a few words that they've learned. They're only starting to talk. So it's really about equipping them with the right communication methods to let you know that they need to go to the potty. You're actually going to see them start to make those sounds and it's your job to actually pick up on them, catch the cues and then quickly get them to the bathroom. That process and that cycle is going to set a routine for them and it's going to help them to understand if that feeling stirs in their tummy, I'm going to make this sound and mommy and daddy are going to come grab me and put me on the potty and I'm going to do my business. Yes. It's as simple as that. Step five is putting it all together. You reached the breakthrough. You've taught them how to communicate using strange grunting noises. You've shown them what the bathroom is and what you do, what kind of business you do in the bathroom. And you've actually helped show them and demonstrate to them what it means to go to the potty. And finally, you've started to pick up on their cues. Keep a consistent routine. And in no time, you'll see that they fully put it together and start to understand that going to the bathroom doesn't mean going in their diaper. Nope. It means I need to tell mommy and daddy, I need to make some sort of a noise, and then they will whisk me away and get me to the right place to make my business happen. When it comes to our daughter, it took about one month actually. So we started the process when she was 12 months old and by 13 months old, she was sitting on the potty. The most amazing, miraculous thing happened, of course, the communication isn't perfect right at the beginning, but the point is she started to figure out how to use a potty as early as 13 months old. She is now 22 months old and she fully understands the concept of the potty. She knows when to go. Okay, let's set some expectations here. It's not gonna be perfect. Every kid is different. Every child's comprehension levels are different at this age. Remember, it's not a perfect science. It might take a little bit more than 13 months. The point is you're that much closer to a potty trained toddler. You don't have to wait until they have big emotions to have them understand what it means to go to the potty. With elimination communication, it's a partnership. So if they're making the sounds and you're not picking up on them, it's not gonna be effective. And occasionally they're gonna make the sound and it's gonna be a false alarm, but that's okay. The final caveat that I have here is to say that 
in our family, we decided not to risk it and remove the diapers completely. So even though for about eight months now, she has never once gone number two in her diaper. I'm not kidding you. She will still occasionally go pee in her diaper. Accidents are going to happen. Every child is unique. And I just wanted to share what really worked for us. It was super effective. And we have a potty trained almost two year old now. What's the harm in trying ultimately? So I've equipped you with five steps to help potty train your 13 month old. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to my channel. We have so much more coming your way. But also let me know what your experience was like potty training your toddler. Thanks for watching and see you next time.